dark matter is the main component of 85% of all matter in the universe. It is still a big mystery for the scientific community that will need to be studied and researched for many more years. What exactly is it? But recently, there is a study by a team of physicists from the University of Hong Kong, HKU, published in the journal Nature Astronomy, indicating that the results of image analysis, Einstein rings, appear in many galaxies in deep space. This makes it possible to prove that the dark matter surrounding the galaxy is... It behaves more like a wave than a particle. Einstein's rings are caused by the phenomenon of gravitational lensing, which is the enormous mass of a black hole or galaxy. This caused the light beams traveling from deep space in the background to bend until the image of the background is enlarged and has a distorted shape in an arc. Sometimes multiple duplicate images may appear arranged in a ring. As Einstein's theory of general relativity predicted in the past, physicists have known that dark matter, which we cannot see, is what holds galaxies together. The distribution of dark matter surrounding galaxies or clusters of galaxies whose mass or gravity can create the image of Einstein rings. But we still don't know exactly what type of elementary particle dark matter is. Currently, there are two most plausible hypotheses. The first assumption was that dark matter might be one of WIMPs, or particles with weakly interacting mass. WIMPs will clearly exhibit particle-like behavior. The second assumption is that dark matter is particles lightweight called axion, which behaves like a wave, more than ordinary particles. This is because quantum interference occurs. A research team from the University of Hong Kong therefore conducted an experiment by using light bending data in multiple images of the Einstein ring from the same space object it is fed to computer model to see what the simulated ring image would look like if dark matter behaved like a WIMP particle, with a simulation from the case where the dark matter is axion particles, which is closer to the real image recorded by the Hubble Space Telescope. The results show that the image simulates the ring from the case where dark matter is assumed to be axion particles. It is closest to the real image from the telescope, which is equivalent to confirming that dark matter might be axionic particles that behave more like waves than they do with normal particles. The results are consistent with past research, which has found evidence that dark matter is more likely to be axion particles than anything else. However, this is not the end of the study of the true identity of dark matter. This will require a lot of research and additional evidence gathering in the future. And recently, the latest version of the dark matter map has been confirmed. Prove that Einstein's theory is correct. Dark matter distribution map. In the newest edition of the universe, which has scanned the sky to capture the highest detail ever, indicating that dark matter is densely clumped together in the form of cosmic filaments, they are distributed and arranged exactly as general relativity predicts. Although there was a previous survey that indicated that dark matter clings together very thinly and do not clump together like Albert Einstein's concept of gravitation predicted. But the results of using the ACT telescope in Chile, studying the traces of light that remained just 380,000 years after the Big Bang, they found the opposite and helped prove that Einstein's theory was correct a team of American astronomers. The results of the survey and map preparation were revealed at an academic meeting. Science of the Future at the Yukawa Institute for the Study of Theoretical Physics of Japan on April 11th and has submitted a research report awaiting consideration for publication in the Astrophysical Journal. Then Dr. Matthew Mathavakaral leader of the research team from the University of Pennsylvania in the United States, said, The results of our survey this time points out that the distribution pattern of dark matter including the value of the accelerating expansion of the universe 
This is close to what the current standard model of cosmology predicts. This model is based on the general theory of relativity. The standard cosmological model believes that the rapid expansion of space-time and some of the quantum fluctuations that occurred after the Big Bang. This allows space to retain some of the plasma or electrically charged gases from the ancient universe. Einstein's general theory of relativity states that gravity compresses and heats this ancient plasma mass until sound waves are created that travel at half the speed of light, pushing matter from the primordial plasma mass to spread out in the form of cosmic fibers which are similar to cobwebs or fungal hyphae. This cosmic filament is composed primarily of hydrogen gas, including dark matter, which has gravity that causes various types of matter to cling together densely as it cools, until they can form stars and then develop into galaxies or large galaxy clusters, especially at the connection point of the cosmic fiber branch. Dark matter is considered the main type of matter making up up to 85% of all matter in the universe. And it is an important factor that causes galaxies that spin at high speeds in space, can still stick together and remain in a group, but we cannot see dark matter directly. In addition to measuring by other physical methods, the research team used the ACT telescope, which is located on a high plateau in Chile's Atacama Desert scans a wide area of the sky to detect the faint light left behind after the Big Bang. This is found in signals from the cosmic microwave background radiation, including collecting data on the distribution of dark matter using gravitational lensing techniques. This technique takes advantage of a strange phenomenon. This occurs when light traveling from deep space is distorted and bent. While passing by a massive object with enormous gravity, such as black holes or galaxy clusters, causing the image of distant space objects to become larger. It also looks more twisted and curved into a ring. It's like using the lens of a magnifying glass to look. Astronomers now know the location of massive dark matter and can map it by observing the distortion and bending of images of stars or galaxies, which is enlarged by the phenomenon of gravitational lensing. Additionally, a new survey of the cosmic microwave background signal, which goes hand in hand with dark matter mapping, it also indicates that the Hubble constant, or the rate of expansion of the universe, is about 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec, which is closer to the original value measured from the temperature distribution in the CMB signal than the the new constant Hubble measured just a few years ago from the brightness of a variable star is 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. These latest discoveries. These are proofs of Einstein's general theory of relativity. It is still applicable to modern cosmology studies. But there is also the possibility that the measurement results were very different from the previous ones. It may also be an accurate measurement result. It's just that the methods used may be affected by some physics laws that we don't yet know. And there is another one of Einstein's theory of relativity that has a rather strange name. Bald, hairless black hole. An important principle about black holes that comes from general relativity of Einstein. Physicists call it the hairless theorem, suggests that black holes of the same type. Some basic characteristics will be the same remaining unchanged forever, no matter what it had swallowed. Recently, the theorem continues to be proven correct. Even before this, some young physicists argued that black holes can create new magnetic fields by absorbing certain matter. This is a departure from the theorem above. Results of studies using computer models published in the journal Physical Review Letters, it is stated that in the case of a black hole surrounded by a group of plasma, black holes can develop new magnetic fields from ingesting matter. This magnetic field will only last for a short time without being disrupted. The hairless theorem states that black holes must have mass, 
angular momentum and the electric charge does not change. Dr. Bart Ripperda, a researcher at the Flatiron Institute in New York, US. One of the teams who proved the theorem said, new knowledge about plasma in physics. It has helped clarify the case of the magnetic field resulting from the black hole's ingestion of matter. It proved that such magnetic fields are not permanent. But there is movement and change all the time. Computer models have shown a very likely scenario. The emerging magnetic field lines surrounding the black hole's event horizon. It can quickly separate and reconnect in the form of plasma bubbles. This bubble of plasma may be thrown away into space, or it could be sucked back into the black hole. Computer models show magnetic field lines around the black hole separating and recombining to form a plume of plasma. The process takes place. This causes the new magnetic field that arises from the black hole's ingestion of matter must decay completely at a rate of 10% of the speed of light. In the past, physicists often thought that the emerging magnetic field around a black hole is permanent because they see it as existing in a vacuum. In fact, there will always be a pool of plasma, said Dr. Ripperda. Einstein's principles proved correct this time. The hairless theorem is strangely named because black holes, according to the general relativity theory, are, there is no difference in details. It is like a bald person who has no hair on his head, which makes the viewer unable to recognize or distinguish. How is one bald person different from another bald person? But in the case of quantum physics, Prof. Stephen Hawking has suggested that black holes may be characterized as thin strands of hair or soft hairs is achieved by light particles or photons scattered around the event horizon, which preserves information about everything that falls inside the black hole. It is a small difference that distinguishes each black hole from one another. Just as the appearance of the hair on the head helps us to distinguish or recognize different people we meet, If you like space stories, you are our friend. Click follow and press the bell so you don't miss any action.